Hello viewers, uh, I welcome you all to my Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 tutorial once again. Uh, in today's tutorial, I am going to discuss about web server, how to configure web server in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. And then I am going to show you how to create virtual host. And finally, I am going to discuss with you about the restricted site how to configure restricted site in red hat enterprise linux 7 okay to do this first we need to install a package the package name is httpd yum install httpd Okay, our package is installing. Yeah, installed, complete, and now what we can do? We can add the service in firewall by using this command, which is firewall hyphen cmd, then hyphen hyphen permanent, and then hyphen hyphen add service equals http, and then hit enter. Okay, that's it. So our service STB service added to our firewall and then reload the firewall. Reload. Fine. Now uh, I'm going to create a demo index file that will show in our browser. So to create an index file, type beam and then slash var www html index dot html hit enter and type whatever you want i'm typing here like this is my normal website which is still under construction okay and exit right and now we start enable and start the service system CTO enable the service name is httpd dot service hit enter once the service enabled we start it by using system CTO start command right now if you want to check whether the web server is working properly or not type curl http and then the machine name in this case the machine name is server 0 ok so type the path as we type like www.yahoo.com like this way but before that we actually configure our host file as well so that this entry gets executed so let me configure the host file it is a host uh, well my IP is 202 so here actually I need a little bit change that's 202 okay 172.16.1.202 this is my IP address and then the machine name full machine name which is server 0.example.com and finally the server 0 ok that's it right now you can use the curl option curl http colon slash slash then server 0 enter look the message is showing here this is my normal website which is still under construction if you want to check it via browser firefox web browser you can do so open the browser and type it here server 0 dot example dot com and hit enter look the website is properly showing us so this is the way we can configure our web server now i am going to show you how to configure virtual host 
I mean if you have a one server and that you host another um, website how you can configure it so to do that we need to create a folder first let me create a folder for that mkdir and then under var I am uh, creating a folder like bhosts okay you can make the folder anywhere you want so in this demonstration I am creating under var uh, mkdir 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 and then okay so our folder already created now let me create a index file vim var vhost and inside of that I'm creating index file index.html and now go to insert mode and type the message so like this is our virtual host okay save and exit now uh, we need to give the c minus context to this folder so to apply the c minus context the shortcut way you can do is you can go to c manage um, manual page man c manage hyphen f context go to the end of the page and from the example section copy the first line c manage and then paste it here just change the path in our case the path is var slash v host okay and then hit enter and then we have to do one more thing we have to use this common restore con copy from the manual page and paste it here just change the path var and then v host okay hit enter so our folder which is vhost uh, configuration successfully completed now we need to copy the vhost file from the location which is cp user share and then httpd and then user share let me check user share doc httpd 2.4.6 under that httpd vhost.com okay we need to copy this file which is under user share doc httpd hyphen 2.4.6 then httpd vhost.com file and we are going to copy it inside etc httpd then conf dot d folder inside the conf dot d folder paste it here enter okay now open the file to configure it vim etc httpd conf dot d and then httpd Hyphen vhost.com hit enter and here in this file we need to do some modification so the first one which is server 0.example.com we need to configure it here we need to do some number modifications like first of all specify the port which is 80 and then in the server admin section after webmaster at just specify the server name in our case it is server 0 and then the path the path for our server 0 dot example dot com is var and then slash www slash html okay and finally the server name the server name in our case is server0.example.com 
and then just disable these three options we don't need this and for the another one virtual host okay like in our case <coughs> i'm gonna configure it like this uh, like www dot zero dot sorry this will be the port number eight zero and in the server admin section change it like www zero dot example dot com and change the document root in our case it is var and then to be hosts okay fine and then finally the server name it will be www zero www zero dot example dot com and disable this two option it will log in custom log okay we actually need one more things to do here so to do that let me open a file from this location beam etc httpd and then conf under conf there will be a file which is http d.com hit enter and scroll down till you get the directory option copy this directory option from here we need actually specify the directory depends on how many virtual host we are trying to create so we need to specify one directory for one virtual host okay so paste it in your vhost file and change the directory section so for the first one it will be var www slash html and then for the second second virtual host we are going to create another directory and the path will be var under var folder name is vhost okay so that is all save and exit from here and restart the service system CTO okay well, we need actually one more thing we need to specify the uh, host name in the host file so let me open the host file once again beam etc then hosts okay so here I am specifying the vhost address which is 172.16.1.202 and then www.example.com and then server 0 ok that is all save and exit now we start the server system CTO uh, restart HTTP dot service okay so that is all about the virtual host configuration now let's check uh, we can check it using our browser so our first views to us server zero dot example dot com okay and the second one we configured is www0 so www0.example.com hit enter look we can see the virtual host page which is this is our virtual list so finally we have configured it properly now the last thing that i promised to discuss in this video which is restricted server so to do the restricted server we just need to modify the file the etc std and under conf http t dot conf and then hit enter okay so once the page open uh, let me get exit from this window when the page open just go down under under the directory section 
under the directory section okay let me copy it copy this directory and we are going to specify another directory copy and paste and change the path okay so under the var www html will create a folder name own directory on the ir that will be restricted for this machine but or maybe uh, we can specify one single machine that will be accessible all, all other machine will not get access to this particular website okay so you can specify it here like require host say server 5 dot example dot com require host server 5 dot example dot com and that is it now Uh, this is still really converted it. let me check once again on the IR repair host server ok fine now we need to create the directory mkdir you can also create directory earlier if you want doesn't matter actually so under part www html the directory name is on dir and inside of that create an index file which is index.html hit enter you type a message like this is a restricted only allow for server file okay save and exit now we need to assign the cms context to this particular folder so to apply the cms context let me copy the cms options once again and paste it here and just change the path in this case the path will be var www html and then own dir and hit enter okay that's perfect now one more thing to do which is restore con Bar www html and then just uh, sorry that's own dir okay that's fine you can check it whether the similar context applied or not by using this command which is ld capital z ld space hyphen ld capital z and then the path bar www html and then the directory name on dir hit enter uh, cannot sorry ls it will be ls not ld look it is saying the cms contact is applied http is content so that is fine just restart the service system cto restart <coughs> http ok so let me check it from this browser whether it is accessible or not is because we specified it for server 5 it should not be accessible from this machine because this is server 0 so let me try server 0.example.com slash own dir okay hit enter look it is saying forbidden you do not have permission to access so that is all that is all about how to configure a web server in red hat enterprise linux how to configure virtual host and how to restrict a site for a particular um, machine or particular domain thanks very much i'll see you guys in my next video till then you guys take care have a good day bye bye